Well, thank you very much. As I look at that footage, wouldn't it be nice to still be able to do those things? <laughs> you know, Gus Kanakis, my first coach here at Michigan State, uh, when I came in the door, you know, he was, you know, I, I look for consistencies. And uh, he remained so tonight. As I walked in the door, you know, as a coach, when I played for him, he'd always, you know, he'd compliment the good things, the 20 points, the 14 or 15 rebounds. And then he'd drill me for the, the four or five missed free throws and the five turnovers. <laughs> so tonight coming in, he, we saw each other in the hallway, and he came up, he says, Greg, Greg, nice jacket. <laughs> but did they have any in green? <laughs> So he remained very consistent. <laughs> I would like to, uh, before I, I, I say too much, I'd like to just recognize some of the people that I asked to come tonight, uh, sit here, seated here at table four. Uh, first, I'd like to ask, uh, ask uh, Tamika and Lamonte Stone to stand up. Uh, they're uh, Very, very close members of our family, like family, in fact, and recently married in July, expecting their first uh, child in February. Lamonte, by the way, is the head coach at River Rouge, and he knows that we want all his top-notch athletes <laughs> right here. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> my younger brother, my only brother, Raymond Kelser, and his wife, Tammy, they'd stand up for a moment. They were just recently... recently married in August, so you can see the Kelsey family has been attending a few weddings here lately. Uh, Raymond, too, a fine, fine basketball player in his own right, uh, an All-American and, 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 an, and a Hall of Fame member at Tri-State University, and I'm sure he'll let me know that he only beat me by six years into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Chris Nikoloff and his brother, Paul. Chris is a good friend of mine. We met recently. Uh, I used to see him at everything that I would go to charitable. He'd always be there, and he'd be an integral part of what's happening. And I, uh, I got to know him as a result of that, a guy who's been blessed but likes to help those less fortunate, always putting his hand in, always wanting to know what he can do to help out. So it's a thrill for me to have him here. Chris, would you stand up? And Paul as well. Paul, his brother, he recognized I want you to know I came to Michigan State after being recruited by many other schools, uh, and one in particular, Arizona State, that I was very, very interested in. And I think they really wanted me because they chose to bring me for my visit on the coldest weekend in Michigan. And when I got to Arizona State, it was 80 degrees, it was beautiful, it was sunny, and I was very tempted. But I came to Michigan State really for one reason, and that was so that my parents, Walter and Verna, could watch me play basketball. They had always supported that. And uh, I wasn't about to give up that support. My father, unfortunately, passed away back in 1984, but my mother is here today, and I'm very happy to have her here as well. Stand up. She's, without a doubt, the jewel in my life. Uh, finally, I'd like to introduce my best friend over there, if you'd stand up for a moment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Don. And Donna is my wife of 10 years, but we've been together for 21 years. And I just hope that I get the opportunity, as uh, John here and Bill here so uh, proudly introduced their wives of 39 and 45 years. I hope that I get to do that one day as well. When I came to Michigan State in 1975, I really only had a couple of things uh, in mind. I wanted to get a degree, I wanted to graduate from here, and I wanted to at least have a chance at a professional contract. Uh, Gus Kanakis mentioned that he was a very small part of that. Uh -uh. He was a huge part of that because, Coach, you gave me the opportunity. You signed me to the scholarship, and during a time when it was not real popular to not only play freshman but start freshman, you put me in there and you allowed me to make my mistakes, and you gave me a chance to gain confidence in myself, which allowed me to go on and be the athlete that I was able to become. So I'll always be indebted to you for that. And by no means is it a small part. It's a very huge and significant part. And I thank you.
And I just want all of you to know that I am very, very proud to be a Michigan State Spartan. Uh, getting into this Hall of Fame is, is an honor in itself, but I didn't need this to feel like I was really a special Spartan. This is great, and I'm very proud of this moment. One thing I'd like to say on behalf of the university, especially with, re, uh, with regards to this recent investigation that, that concluded, I know you've heard a lot that had been said, perhaps read and alleged about this university and its commitment to education. I want you to know that it's there, it's always been there, it's solid, it will remain. And I think uh, no greater example can be shown than the work and time that has been put into making this Student Athlete Academic Center a reality. Uh, it's in the process, it's going to happen, and I encourage your support of that. And just understand that Michigan State has a very, very rich and proud tradition as far as athletics is concerned. I'm very proud to be a part of that. But the thing that's most important, the thing that we all boast and stick our chest out about is our commitment to the education side, because I believe that that takes you much further than anything else. Again, I'd like to congratulate the, the prior inductees into this hall and the inductees tonight. Congratulations, and go green, go white. Thank you. Thank you.